Hey guys, welcome to the May 2019 Unreal Engine free assets for this month. Like I've said in many other times before, you can use these in other engines, whether that be Unity or others. Obviously, stuff that's specifically for the engine won't necessarily be supported in another, but lots of different models, assets, sounds and things can be used in other places, so it might be something that you want to keep an eye on. So the first one is something called the Chameleon Post Process and it's an advanced post processing blueprint for specifically for Unreal Engine 4 with 70 customizable and combinable effects. It has an absolute whole host of different post processing effects whether you want to do blur, a drug effect, circles, frost, glitches, inversions, neons, mosaic, loads and loads of stuff. The next one is the houseplant pack, interior and exterior plants. So it's just a mix and match and assortment of really high quality houseplants with a customizable sort of planter. So you can add them to whatever, maybe a realistic environment. And it includes 11 unique houseplants to decorate several interiors, which include a, a basil, rosemary, white sage, aloe vera, a cactus, peace lily, lots of different variations on the specific assets that are there. Comes with textures ranging from 256 all the way up to 2k with 157 different textures and base LODs with a bunch of materials, tri counts up to maybe 10,000, up to 10,000 polygons and much much below depending on the plant that you're looking for. And number three is the high quality residential house and this is a fully interactive and um, styled on a, a traditional sort of American house with interactable doors so you can be able to walk inside so you could essentially create a whole neighborhood with the interior furniture. You can choose to customize all the furniture and the actual pack contains over 200 ready objects to assemble whether it be in your scene or the scene that's already you know, available with bunches of LODs and up and beyond 150,000 triangles for the entire demo scene that's there with all the assets that you will see. Suitable for VR. The next one is the Jetpack Animation Set, which contains a 726 set of animations for a jetpack sort of scenario. So it has nine weapon holds for standard sort of weapon sets, nine weapon holds for heavy sets, three types of melee, one grenade throw, and three deaths, and it has an awful lot of different functionality for knife throwing pistols, rifles, shotguns, SMGs, chain guns, grenade launchers, so just... The next one is the Modular RPG Heroes Polyart, and it's a modular RPG hero pack which contains many parts for you to customise in a sort of polyart style. So you can view it and the full character set is about 5,000 triangles. You can change the tint colour, so there's a lot of customizability with all the different assets that are there. So it includes um, an animation list for the assets that are there with attacks, dashes, defenses, deaths, equipment changes, getting hit, idols. So a whole host of functionality you can make different characters with the animations to go with it. The next one is something called particle text. So with this one, as it suggests, you can emit particles from a sort of defined text, which I think is a really cool effect actually, which can be specified directly from the emitter and you can customize it in your own classes. So you can just you know, uh, edit at runtime and you can create using the text, you can change the font, the scale, the masks, the canvas density, a whole host of different uh, parameters right there. And the next one is something called the platformer starter kit. And it's a pack of lightweight um, assets that can go easily and quickly to make a 2D or a 3D platforming game. And it's just a selection of 170 static meshes with different power-ups, PBI materials, and with textures from 512 to 2K with a whole host of different materials to go with it. The next one is something called Retro 8-Bit Sounds and it's a selection of 1001 retro game 8-bit sound effects. So what can I say? <laughs> a whole host, whether it be a 2D platform or a space shooter, you know, any sort of 8-bit sound effect, it'll have it for you. The next one is the Urban Material Pack, and it's a pack of 41 different urban or downtime uh, styled materials, which are all PBR and they come from 14 material instances. You can blend between them and it comes with a bri um, bricks, asphalt, cobblestones, pavements, concrete, tiles, um, glass windows, window frames, plaster, metal and wood. The next one is the user interface kit 
which is a collection of widgets, icons and UI elements for different types of actual projects that you might have. And so you can create a load of bunch of awesome layouts with lots of different widgets. You can customize everything there. The widgets include three working minimaps with zooming capabilities, one compass, four working action bars, several health manner experience bars, two styles of generic window widgets. There's even a whole host of the specific icons with 40 spells, 10 modern weapon icons, 15 sword axe armor icons and a whole host of other stuff from there which you might want to check out and the assets which are permanently free from this month is the free furniture pack which includes a selection of 37 different high quality pieces of furniture which is just with different properties where you can open and interact with them whether that be sofas tables chairs beds and last but not least is the m5 visual effects volume 2 fire and flames and it's an asset which is um, got a bunch of high quality fire and flame assets and includes candles, bonfires, fires, flames, explosions, small to large with a whole host of different blueprints with high quality images and that's had a lot of bug fixes here and around so be sure to check out all these great assets within for this May 2019 for the Unreal Engine. Thanks very much for checking out the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.